conclude the show. Speaking with Mr. Anthony Henry, he is in our audience here this evening. Uh, Mr. Henry, what did you get most out of tonight's presentation? Well, I think I, I gained a, a deeper appreciation um, of the people that spoke about their roots uh, here in Fort Wayne. And really, um, I found it fascinating that the origins primarily of most of our speakers really didn't really start here in Fort Wayne, but they are here now and wanting to uh, to transform or wanting to uh, to gain a, a deep appreciation of uh, of um, of of our city and how education the means of education can really even produce a, a greater liberation uh, for us and so that I also was pretty um, uh, fascinated by the um, uh, the gentleman um, who spoke to us about his grandparents being entrepreneurs and uh, teaching welding and uh, uh, and and uh, I, and I, I I'm not I'm not seeing much of that right now. I'm not seeing uh, uh, the young uh, black uh, entrepreneur in in, uh, in in our city now. Like, but like I was hearing from this gentleman, it was almost like it was very popular. Uh, and I heard another person speak about that we don't have uh, the grocery stores uh, in the banks in the southeast quadrant that that we should have. And. So there's, in some sense, there's a, there's a, there's a maybe perhaps uh, I'm hearing more of the p poverty of the businessman in this area, and where perhaps are coming together and empowering each other that maybe we could see that happen. And that's, that's kind of what I'm hearing. And I was very impressed by the young lady, uh, Miss Jackson from Ivy Tech. I mean, this obviously is a woman who uh, was making five fifty an hour ten years ago, and through education now. She's the uh, uh, assistant director, I guess, for uh, Ivy Tech. Yeah, for Ivy Tech in the uh, in the uh, diversity international program. Thinking here is a young woman who really uh, saw education as a way of liberating her, and now she's out impacting others. And uh, so it was. I, I thought it was a very engaging uh, evening session here, and I'm glad. One I'm last glad. Last question I came. for people who weren't here tonight: Why would they want to come out here? Uh, you know, on the future nights that we do this. Why would they want to come out here? Um, I, well, I, I think what I'm hearing um, is people, th this hearing testimonies, people that, um, that have, um, I think like Miss Jackson again, having a rough start in life, but yet uh, education, getting educated. Uh, I, I think that... Um, when you hear testimonies and convictions, it's just it's just simply empowering, and it, it really uh, enables one to um, to really want to go out and help others. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Harry. Okay, we're back live again. That was um, Anthony Henry, one of the people that was in the audience, and you know when I was talking with him, he made me realize certain things that I never had a chance to gain perspective on. Blacks and whites in Fort Wayne pretty much don't know a lot of successful blacks. They don't know what's going on in the, in, in, the, um, in the black community, especially from a wide cross-section of people. And I think that, that one way that we can strengthen the black community is by showing examples of people who've overcome. I don't mean the millionaire athletes. I don't mean necessarily the doctors because you can be, you don't have to be an athlete or a doctor or a lawyer. There's many other things out here that you can be. Uh, some real good friends of mine are CNAs. And to hear their story as to why they like nursing, mm -hmm. you know, it's a, it's a very beautiful story because it's very caring because they, they, they have a deep desire to care for people. But that's pretty much how we're going to be turning this thing around here. You know, I think that... Um, when we show the examples, because right now when you look on TV, you don't see examples of blacks being successful presented on purpose. You know, I mean, you pick it up, you know, f by watching them do certain things at city council or whatever, but there's enough people here that, that have accomplished in different fields that, that, that want to come out and speak and share their story. Yes, sir. Make sense? Yes, sir. Because... The thing is, is never to give them a positive role model to look at as children because 
then you'll grow to love that which you see that is successful. And if you find somebody who has moral quality and character and has a love of God, then you, sh you strengthen and empower those children who see that individual. You have a person who is achieving in different fields of endeavor that a child may want to uh, have interest in. Then that will strengthen them and empower them to want to strive and do better in that field of endeavor to, to achieve education. If they can know that they can be the electrical contractor, the plumbing contractor, the, um, the carpenter, the brick mason, the concrete mason, um, they know that they can be the attorney, they know that they can be a physical therapist, a respiratory therapist, and achieve and strive in neurosurgery and things of this nature, then you give them an aspect at which to strive and to shoot for. Right now, they have nothing to aim their gun at, but miss targets, you and know? And athletics. Athletes, athletes can be named. If I ask a, a, a young man or woman to name me five athletes who have achieved success, they can name them right off the bat. But if I ask them to, to name five black inventors that change the means of society in which they live, they couldn't answer no more than maybe two. And George Washington Carver would be one, and maybe you might have uh, Madam C.J. Walker here and there, or, um, and then that's the limit of the base of a, or extent that they can go as far as their history is concerned. Okay, we have a phone call. Go ahead, caller. Yeah, um, I want to address something that I heard the brother saying. Uh, I believe his name Tryon. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Yes. Um, I heard him when he was speaking on uh, us need to be divided from the rest of the people in the world so that we can find each other first. And, I mean, contamination, I mean, I'm not prejudiced or anything, but contamination can take away the purity. And I believe that God, when he created all things, he, when he created all things, he created things each according to his kind. And it's wisdom in the earth. Because if you look at the animals that he formed, each thing is according to his kind. And it runs with its own kind. And it has its purpose in the earth. And then when you talk about education, we need education. What type of education do we need? We need to learn how to survive. That's our education. We need to learn about the, the earth. We need to learn about God's creation. And then we won't have to depend on no other thing around us. We can come together <coughs> and do what it is that we need to do. Okay, thank you very much. Can you succinctly respond to his comment? Well, I mean, I, I agree with the brother that we, need, we do need to focus on self because we have every field of endeavor in our community. We just need to build those fields of endeavor to, to strengthen them and, and, and to empower them. There are several projects that are going on on the, in the, um, on the south side of Fort Wayne that many black contractors have been limited or either removed away from. And we need to move those contractors into those situations so we can get economic empowerment in the south side of Fort Wayne in the hands of the people that live in the south side of Fort Wayne. You know, Jihad, listening to the caller's uh, comment talking about the importance of, of um, you know, focusing on self and, and that type of thing, that brings us full circle back to Adam Smith again, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, yes, it does. Um, like I said before, and, and I don't know if I had said this uh, uh, clearly, uh, there's an individual initiative that this country holds on onto, and that it's uh, that we should appreciate throughout the world, and that is basically finding finding the will and, and the need to find out a problem and to better yourself mentally, spiritually, and physically. But on the other hand, what he is, uh, I think the brother is talking about, that's the starting point. But once we go out there and find out that we're on a lonely island, there needs to be a community aspect there. And I say this historically, what's on paper is good, the individual initiative, and it should be used and harnessed and put forth. But once we get in those tight situations, which I believe our community is now here in the 21st century, and what we call a, a multicultural society, there needs to be a community effort. And with that community effort comes the self, the, the, the self, the knowledge of self, of understanding, building our communities, and we can be respected and become part of the, of the human family. Uh, you know, you, you both have been correct all evening. I have enjoyed myself listening to you and getting your observations. 
uh, trying, you know, I've been trying to get you on the show here for about a half dozen years. <laughs> so I'm glad you showed up here. And, uh, you know, it is this type of information that we're going to build our movement around. I believe that we can create a movement here in Fort Wayne. I believe that we have a type of original intelligence here in Fort Wayne. I think that we have an intelligence that's more unique than the people on the East Coast and West Coast, Atlanta, Chicago, wherever. I think that we've been ignored so long here in Fort Wayne and in the Midwest that people just uh, don't look to Hoosiers for important answers in America today. And I think that we have the answers. I think that we know how to crack that nut of Willie Lynch, of the doctrine that's so clouding people's minds and have them walking under the cloak of that slave mentality. We're going to break it and we're going to keep hitting it every month with every show. Thank you all for watching the show here tonight. I'm glad the callers called and uh, the time may be changing because next month, I suppose, or a few months, we're going to be, you know, having a different, different time slot. But look in the cable guide and you'll see what time we'll be on. Uh, we'll keep doing this. Thank you all for watching tonight's show. Good night and God bless you.